Hey guys, Mayday to you. Hey, before we get to the clip, I just want to clarify a few things because I struggled with this clip. I've done it a little while back, but I really haven't put it up for posts to be viewed because in a godly sense, I didn't want it to be construed as offensive to Lou or anything like that. It's, in my opinion, one of the you know sincerest forms of flattery. Lou Holtz, in my opinion, is the greatest coach of all time. Um, I quit liking Ohio State football back in 1986 because of Lou Holtz. And that's when I got this blanket. <laughs> 1986, I got that blanket and became a Notre Dame fan. Um, didn't like the uh, way the Buckeyes kind of were headed and everything. And uh, at that time, I was still in college playing football at... Uh, at a small college outside of Cleveland, Ohio. But I just wanted to, you know, like I said, I struggled with this, but I'll let Lou, if he does see this, be the, uh, you know, let, let his opinion uh, clarify what, whatever, you know, what, I can't really think of what I want to say, but he grew up in the Ohio Valley. I grew up in the Ohio Valley. His story is like no one's story you've ever heard before. I'll put a link in this and to another speech that he made at Franciscan University of Steubenville to the uh, graduating seniors of I don't I can't remember what year, but it's it's one of the most unbelievable, incredible speeches, and it tells you where he came from and how he got there, and it's an inspiring speech and it's just phenomenal. So. I uh I just want you to enjoy this and uh think of Lou as I do, you know, just a great man. And uh here he is with Mark May on Notre Dame football recruiting. Hey listen to me, this is Lou Holt. And yeah, let me tell you something. There's some guys out there that can play football. These wide receivers nowadays, listen, they they take off and they run the 40 and they can fly. And these guys, these guys got wheels. And I tell you, listen, listen, listen up, listen. Ah, oh, you're not listening. You're just not listening. You need to hear these guys. They're like this kid that we, we, we sent a scout down. Here in elementary school, when I was a coach at Notre Dame, and, and I tell you, listen, I tell you, I sent this scout to an elementary school to watch this third grader, and he got up on the roof, and he was able to scout this kid on the playground, and this kid was just to think everything, one-handed, two-handed, behind his back, over his head, and listen, <laughs> Yeah, we, we we gave him a four-eyed scholarship to Notre Dame. And this, this kid's in the NFL right now. He's playing for the Pittsburgh Steelers in the NFL. Clay, Josh Claymore. Claypool. Claymore. Yeah, listen, I'm not an expert with Nahal. I don't know kids. Mark, I don't know these guys. You know, people still think I look like Granny Clampett. Who the heck would think that? <laughs> Listen, I know there's a lot of Notre Dame football fans out there that need to really pay attention to my recruiting schemes. Send your scouts when he, these kids are young. Have them stock them in the schoolyard. <laughs> Listen, that's the way you get these good receivers. You get these good players. So, anyway, that's, that's what I've got to say about about football. Watch Notre Dame. Hey, Notre Dame. Now, now that's, that, Notre Dame is good football. Uh, listen. Just listen to me. Listen. You you take... Oh, you're not listening. You take these guys. They come out of high school. What, where do they want to go? They, they want to go to Notre Dame. Notre Dame, every, every kid that comes out of high school, they want to go to Notre Dame. But if they know Notre Dame's the best place to go, that's the place to be. If you don't go to Notre Dame, you're just going to some college. Now listen, listen, listen up. You take you take some people like uh, 
Oh, Dad. Peyton, Peyton Manning. He, he want to go to Notre Dame, but he went to Tennessee. Wait, he, he's just never going to be the back. He, Tom Brady, he wanted to go to Notre Dame. He went to, he went to Michigan. He's just never going to be the back. Yeah, Joe Montana. Now, there's a guy. That guy went, that guy, uh, listen, listen. That guy came to Notre Dame prepared. And look, look where he is. He's the best quarterback ever. They're all trying to be, match up to him. Tom Brady could wear a jock strap, Mark. This guy is good. This this guy, he's the best. And, and, and oh, Mark, listen, you had that damn Marino from Pitt. We wouldn't even take him at a highest, er, at Notre Dame. Listen, listen, you can't get, you can't get Marino into Notre Dame. He ain't never even make it. Anyway, I just want to tell you, Notre Dame is where the kid, every kid wants to go, and if they can't go there, they just go any place that someone will take them. So, listen, I, I know football, and I do not look like Randy Clampett. I don't know who started that rumor. But listen, Notre Dame football, that's the place you got to be. Oh, that's not true. Listen, everybody wants to go to Notre Dame. These kids don't want to play somewhere else like Ohio State or Michigan or down in Auburn where they, they play, yeah, or Alabama. They, listen, these kids want to play at Notre Dame, even if they don't win championships. They're big-time Notre Dame kids. Hey, listen, hey, listen, listen, I know you went to Pitt. I know. You say it all the time, but how many championships do you win at Pitt? Well, listen, you win championships in my world. Out of Notre Dame, we win some championships. And listen, these kids, they like to come. They like to come to all these schools and get recruited and feel good. But at the end of the day, we know. We know. Listen, these kids know where they're going to end up. They're going to come to Notre Dame. Notre Dame football has got everything. I got touchdown Jesus, first down Moses. You're not listening. Listen, what's Pitt got? Pitt's got nothing but steel mills. Yeah, you're going to sit up on Mount Lebanon or wherever you're at and smell pollution. And Notre Dame, you got married, you got blessed. Hail Marys, full of grace. Listen, listen. you're still not listening, Mark. Every time I say listen, I mean listen. Listen to somebody who knows something. These are the way you get into the NFL is through Notre Dame. Listen, these guys are good to come out of Notre Dame. Look at Brady Quinn. Look, Deshaun Kaiser. Uh, I could go on and on. These guys were good guys. It's just that the Cleveland Browns really screwed them up. Listen, you can't play football in, in, in Cleveland. They got weeds. I feel bad for the boys. Listen, that's, that's just my thought. That's my thought on Notre Dame recruits and Notre Dame talent in the NFL.